good morning i thought i'd bring in the vlog starting off me at work so i come to work at between 6 30 and 7 in the morning and what i usually do is about 8 30 9 i walk to starbucks get in my steps walk to starbucks and get me some coffee ages how you wear it where I show you a little bit of my life just a tiny bit um, I don't know what I got planned this weekend so I will be picking the camera back up and see where it takes me you see I got on my braided wig what y'all think I love this thing. It's long and curly at the ends. Um, and I'm wearing these cute earrings. And you saw me when I unboxed these. And I thought it went really well with the glasses. I put a picture up of my outfit. Well, welcome to another day in my life. For those who are new, welcome. Um, you saw my intro that I started from work. I decided to do a little intro during my work time. So that was on Friday. Um, today is Saturday. So I don't have a lot today. Um, so you know I try to show you a little bit if I'm doing something. So tomorrow, Sunday, I just want to sit back and relax, and that is it. I hope my head is not cut off. Um, okay, so I just want to do a little... I did get a package in. So I hope everybody is doing good and well. Um, I looked... I did go to the movies last week, and I did see Morbius, and it's on my review channel. Um, I'm hoping to... Yeah, I'll probably put that up today so it'll be up there sometime today to see sonic you always want to i miss my grandbabies so sometimes i just love going to see movies like that and sonic is such a good movie to see you know just you want to see something that's just that's not so true to life but true to life if you know what i mean so i'm not going to do a review on it but I did go see it. Now, it's not as good as the first one, but it was still good. Okay, so you know I'm always buying from vintage retailers online. So, I did get something. And child, sometimes I don't remember what I'd be getting. It's, it's that. Oh, okay. So, I got this dress. I really like this dress. Look at this. Okay, so it is a wrap dress, and it is in, in the um, zebra print, and I worn it because it goes all the way down. I have been into, and it looks like it's huge, but it's not. It's a wrap dress, and so it wraps around, but I'll probably either wrap it or put a big belt over, over it. Um, what size is it? does look kind of big 
Oh, this is a one size fix, fix most. So that means it probably is going to have some room. But depending on how it flows, um, I will either belt it with the belt it's got and then belt it again with a bigger black belt or my white belt. That'll look nice. And I just love this zebra print. So I'm going to wash this and you can look for this to be on my Instagram. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, guys. Instagram and TikTok, I'm um, ages how you wear it. I just do fashion stuff. I don't do skits and all that, but I do a lot of fashion for older women. Um, I do a lot of fashion for 55 and over, but if you see something you like, because fashion and style has no age, right? So you may see stuff that you used to love, you used to um, hate to see your mom in as a kid, but then when you grow up, you're like, wow, that does look, it's just that era you won't used to that. So trendy is okay, but I love vintage. So speaking of vintage, I had some I got some vintage bags that I want to share with you. My first one is look at this bag. Look at the details. The intricate details in the bag, the bronze color of the bag. I hope you can see it real good. I mean, you got to really see the details. Look at the um the gems that's in it and on the bag itself and the details in the bag see that's the thing and the details go all around the bag beautiful the old look of it it's just so nice and i know i'm not gonna see another person walking around with this bag and on the inside is stuffed, but it's got this beautiful satin material on the inside. And it's just so nice. I was trying to see if I saw the name of it. Once I see something I like, honey, I just get it. I got it from the consignment store. Metro. Mm, I can't see it. But I just love it. And they had it on sale for half price and i think i paid maybe 10 or 11 dollars for it but you can put this on the resale market for a lot more look at the details in the bag the next one i got is this one look at the beading it's got the silver and the gold and the bronze, which means it can go with either one of these. And some people may be like, oh, that's so old. I'm old, baby. And this one, I gotta sit back for this one because I really want you to see this one. Look at this. Is this not odd and different? It's got the bamboo um, handles. And this just looked like somebody sat and really made this. Look, and it's so, it looks so detailed. And this is something you're not going to see anybody wearing it. you just not. And it zips on the side so you can put stuff in here and just get it out. So it zips on the side right here so you can store stuff in it. And it's deep too and then it opens here but it's very stiff because of the material see bamboo material look at this i cannot wait to style this so nice and you saw the footage of me going to walmart walmart i'm telling you it's got some good stuff in there and every time I go in there, I'm running in and running out. So every time I go through the clothing section, I'm just going really fast. And I never have time to really sit and look. So this caught my eye. It is a black. It is a black jumper. 
and it's short sleeves so you can wear it now it's ruched in the middle so it can stretch that little stomach if you have to it has two pockets and the buttons going down don't look like no little cheap buttons so it don't make it look cheap and then it i like the fact that it um comes in on the ankle so if you want to wear some some um heels it'll look really nice and it was on sale for on clearance for eleven dollars so i am definitely going to style this up for work and it is i got it in a medium size seven nine i just really like this and it caught my eye and i'm like wow that is so nice i like it and let me see what the material is made of quite sure and it snaps the button snap open so that's good um oh it's made of 100 percent recycled material so good then i got these you know how you want to wear um like if you like me you wear a lot of blazers um or you want to wear a, a, a oversized shirt and you just want to have it open but then have a little uh bandu top uh peeking out or something like that i got these it's cuffed cuffed it's cupped and then at the bottom it's tight so it's ribbed at the bottom these were just what five, six dollars six dollars so i got a white one and i got a pink one if they had a lime green baby i definitely would have got that lime green but they ain't had no lime green so i was like dang so they just cute little cheap tops to throw on so that's what i found at walmart because i went to get my trail mix that i tell you about all the time my trail mix that is just the best. Let me get it just in case you ain't never seen my videos. Walmart has the best tra trail mix. It is my favorite. It is the Omega 3 trail mix and it's by their brand. And it has the, um, the dried, dried sweetened cranberries, the walnuts, the papaya papayas which is sunflower seeds the almonds and the pecans so this right here is my all-time favorite trail mix so um why i got you up here before i open my target and show you my target things and close out this little miniature vlog i guys i was so excited i paid the last portion of my cruise so it's locked and loaded locked and loaded guys all uh, you know just the uh port fees and then you know the fees uh for gas and all that <laughs> so you can imagine but it was already locked in so they couldn't up the price of the gas on me so what they did was they sent an email saying that the um the gratuities went up but the good thing about it is you do not have to pay the gratuities because if you feel like you want to individually give people tips you can do that so they can't force you to pay gratuities so, depending on how I feel, it depends on whether I'm paying it. I probably won't. I don't know. It depends on how friendly everybody is. But anyway, so that made me think about the fact that it is just such a shame that whenever something in the world is going on, they make us as consumers pay the price for it. So, you do. You know, that's why I don't really feel guilty about what I do or the fact that I have stuff that I want. A, it's my life. I could do what I want. I work hard for it. I'm not out here hustling, making you pay nothing. I pay taxes just like you do. So, if I have a lot of stuff, then, and you think, oh, you should do more than just have stuff. Well, yeah, because 
I'm already, every time I pay my taxes, I am already contributing. Okay, that's first thing. Second thing is, I also, to me, from having been in a shelter, um, to me, giving to women's shelters and giving directly to them is the best thing. And every time I have a chance to do something directly for someone, I would prefer to do it that way. That way, your money is not being filtered and used for anything else other than what you want it to be used for. Um, so it's all in what you want to do, whether you want to give money, whether you want to give time. Never let anybody make you feel guilty about anything or any pleasures you're doing for your life. Um, I'm, ta I'm, ta I'm not talking about harmless stuff. I'm talking about like some people say, oh, I don't want to tell you that I got this luxury item because then you're going to judge me. I don't care. I truly don't because I have brought, bought luxury full price second hand but me you know I like to save a, duck, a buck or two right so but I don't I would never feel guilty of something that I have that I've worked hard for whether I work hard for it in the office whether I work hard for it on the corner honey if I work hard for it to make that money not stealing, not begging, not doing anything. If I'm on the dance floor shaking my tail and that is the way I made my money, I, I'm doing it. Because you don't feel guilty when you break your back to do something for others. Why should you feel guilty for doing something for yourself? Okay, so what did I get from Target? Well, first of all, you have to be careful going to Target unlike Walmart. Because Target, you'll buy something full price in a minute. I saw this dress in full price. Let me tell you the price of it. It's $27.99 and it is from their brand. You know, A New Day is their brand. Look at this cute little baby doll dress. It's purple, my favorite color. It's quilted. Look at the quilted. Look, look at that. It's quilted, short, and cute. Look at this. They had them in all colors, but I thought that this, I don't have a lot of purple, um, springy, springtime clothes. I have a lot of colorful clothes. You know, my, one thing about me, my style is vast, okay? I may feel like looking like a hobo one day. I may feel like looking like a princess, a tomboy, street, a, Whatever I feel is what I wear. The only thing you will not see me in is a bunch of basic colors. Like just your browns and your creams. Now, I'm not saying everybody has, you know, a lot of people like that clean, minimalistic look. And I do too. So I will wear that. I will wear something like that at work versus what I will wear outside of work. So this is definitely a work dress and it's so cute. Going out, you know, it's a dress to wear, period. But it is definitely a work dress. But I did see something in their, um, in their sales section. I got this on clearance for $9, and then when it rung up, it was $7. And it is just this cropped little hoodie. And I just love the, the um, flowers in it. And this is definitely something you throw on at night. You're going to the movies. You're going somewhere where you ain't trying to be dressy. But it's still cute. And I would wear it with like a pair of black leggings or a cream pair of wide leg pants. And don't be scared of crop tops because not all crop tops are tight. So this is the thing. I have a belly and I y'all know that I don't, you know, attempt to say I don't. And I don't hide it. But as long as you're working on it and it's not sloppy, you can wear a crop top. Just wear high-waisted pants. Just wear high-waisted pants. If you, cause it's, you know, you may have a little, a little pudge there, but if it's not all, if, if, the thing we mess up in is trying to wear things tight. If you have a stomach, don't wear tight stuff. 
okay? So take for instance this. This is not loose, right? But I'm gonna have something over this. So when it's cropped, it's only gonna show the top part of my belly, okay? So as long, I have a fupa, which is the bottom part of my belly is what's fatter than the top part. So I can get away with wearing a crop top and you may just see a little belly on top. So you, this is a loose crop top. So this definitely, get you a pair of high-waisted uh, leggings and put this on top of it, crop all day long. And you know it's all in the confident, confidence that you wear, right? It's all in the confidence. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, yeah. And I got this, and it's too big, though. But I'm going to still make it work because I don't feel like taking it back. I got this little cropped, um, it's not the little cropped shirt. Uh, it's their brand too. It's twenty dollars, and I got it in a large because you know my breast is not little now. They ain't the biggest things, but they ain't the smallest either. And I didn't know if I wanted to get it in a medium, but once I'm looking at it, it's and then when I put it on, I was like, oh, it's too big. And you have to, you can, but you can um, ruch it in. So. I said I could ruch it in. And then you could wear this over something. You don't always have to wear it under something. So I can definitely use this and it will, and I can pin it in the back if I want to. So it's versatile if I get it a little bigger because if I want to put it over top of something, then it will have the room. And if I want to wear it just as it is, I can always ruch it in with this and pin it in the back to make it look fitting. So that's why I decided to go ahead and keep it. So those are my new things. I got some new jewelry. So let me go ahead and roll that footage for so you. So I wanted to show you also the new items I've gotten in on my board. So if you hadn't seen my videos, this is the four piece cork board that I got from Amazon and it has these little um what are these called clothes pins tacks on it so that if you want to hang something long like I have here so you see I got the necklace long so here is a new necklace that I got I got this from a consignment store I love the colors, even though it's the fall colors, it's gonna look really nice in the spring, especially if you got on something basic and just that the necklace, cause look at the details, hold up. Look at the details in the necklace itself. So intricate and so nice. So it will make a perfect statement piece. And this beauty here, I got this from a from Etsy at a shop that does handmade African art and it came um it took a while to get here because they hand make it and then they ship it out so you know uh ports and all that that it has to go through. I just love that. Can you imagine this in the summertime? beautiful and when i style it i'll show it to you and then i got these gorgeous look at these owl earrings this beautiful orange and they look really nice on your ears and it's very light you think it's heavy but it's not so those are the three newest things i have in my collection Okay, so then that's the new jewelry I got in. So that's all I got for you today, guys. You know, I still want to give you something. Whether I pop in and just say hello, I will try to do that. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and give me a thumbs up, please. I really appreciate it. Uh, but you don't have to. Everything is what you want to do, honey. You do not have to. If you want to come back and just see me, never subscribe. Don't give me a thumbs up. But you come and watch me every time I have a video. Do that too. I'm not in it for the money, so I don't need to have the views or the thumbs up. I do it to keep me busy. Because this grandma is bored at home by herself. 
Bye, guys.